So guys, hidden treasures. So guys, yeah, we've got this Peugeot 207 come in. The hidden last hidden treasures didn't do so well, quite a little bit disappointed, but thanks to all the people who was watching, I appreciate it. But let's hope this one does a little bit better. So like, subscribe, because I'm going to do this every week and comment. So we've got this Peugeot 207, 2007. We've picked this one. This was just a scrapper we've collected as normal from a customer. It's just been stood on his drive, I think, for a number of years. So anything in there is probably not of any value to him, but we did see a lot of stuff in the back. But as you can see, it's definitely been stood for a while. All these cobwebs, it's obviously not been run for ages. Um, so yeah, let's do this. It's a three door, so it's gonna be a little bit more awkward to look through. It looks very nice and moldy. Oh. If you can, yeah, we'll stick it over. Shut that door, James. So we're just going to move it so it's not as awkward for me when I'm rooting for the cars. Gloves. So yeah, I've sold you under the bonnet. Right, let's have a route. Right, so it's not looking like there's much stuff in the front. Bottle of water, bottle of water. Not really anything there. Let's take a little cubby holes. So we've got a USB charger. Um, bloody hell, why have we picked this car? Right, that looks like an old cigar. Very nice. There's nothing in there. Oh, what's this little one here? Is that just a fuse box cover? Yeah. Right, so there's nothing there. The owner's manual. If anyone needs an owner's manual. Uh, there's nothing in the side pocket. Just a pen, which I will actually use. Right, nothing there. Not right good. Check down the side of the seats. Oof. Right, jiffy bags. Tell you what, James. Well, these are brand new. Still got the sticky bits on. Listen, they're like 30p to a quid a piece, then. I'll be using them bad boys. Right. Karma. Right. In the back, nothing. MOT. Oh, that looks like a pair of jump leads to me. Oh, some stuff in the back. Do not open. You are? Do not open. Yeah, it will do. I'm just going to check the back seats first and get into the boot. Let's get these back seats open. So, as you always know, this is usually where you find the little gems. I've never seen any gold rings or jewellery before because obviously if there's a worker in the yard who finds something very valuable i'm sure they're going to keep it without telling me i'll oh, keep him ah. let's get behind these so it's a bit of a disappointing one so far it did look like there was a bit of stuff on the back seat oh yes you see, guys, guys, money, money, one pound, one pound thirty. James, that's not bad really, is it? No, no. That is not bad. That's a not a bad little find. So, we've got the jiffy bags. What are you doing? Walking back. Jesus. Right, so. We found £1.30 and the Jiffy bags. We've probably got about £2.50 so far. Not bad. So I'm earning my wage, I'm earning my wage. Oh, right, boot. Right, this is why we've obviously chose this car. Nathan said, oh, it looks like some stuff's in the boot. That'd be a good for a hidden treasures. Which, I would say it is. Wow. So, let's have a good little rummage. Jerry can. Four quid. Wow, jump leads, 100%. Yep, that's what I saw in the back. 
100% guys we'll be using them they always come in handy the jump leads so I'll give them to Nathan and Chris for the yard always come in handy there's a gym mat don't think I'll really use that I'll tell you what James umbrella honestly yeah that will come in handy got a pair of boxing gloves I'll be slightly reluctant on using a second hand pair of boxing gloves because we're always sweating aren't they um, an old Tsui however you say it bag not really worth anything oh god oh, I won't be opening that yeah let's put that on the back seat anything I don't find of any value I'll put on the back seats screen wash guys comes in handy so we've got some working pads punch what do you call them just pads yeah. boxing pads yeah ah oh. tell you what the gloves I'm not going to keep the gloves I'll tell you what though strap that'll be that'll be for your waist will it or your knees maybe yeah so we've got the punching pads boxing pads we've got um be smart professional choice waistband there's a big gym bag here with a rope a hefty rope I should say wonder if we couldn't make use of that in anything else in the yard maybe might come in handy I don't think you'll be able to lift anything heavy with it because it won't be for that do a strongman competition pulling back pulling yes tug of war what the they're like the, the big floor that you have to set in. Yeah. So the guy who had this car obviously was into his bit of boxing. I've always done a bit of boxing all my life actually. I don't mind boxing. Um, it's good fitness and obviously very good self-defense. So we've got loads of um, cones. Um, I don't think we really need them to be honest. Oh, I thought we had a bit of Red X oil, fully synthetic, but it's been used. Obviously, the car was burning oil. Um, wow, yeah, this is what I like to see. Pens. Listen, these will be going straight in my drawer. So we've got a load of empty envelopes. I've already got a load of envelopes, but you know what? They're going in my desk. I'll use them. Sorry, I'll put that on your phone. Um, got some more business cards not really worth anything boxing glove got a pair of ah oh, football trainers adidas wow i'll put them to the side for sure um light bulb kit yep yeah. honestly coming handy Oh, some mailing bags, James. We can send out the merch for them. To anyone who buys merch. <laughs> that didn't really make any sense, really, did it? <laughs> right, so we've got some more papers. I'll keep that private, really. It's not really worth anything. We've got a screwdriver. We'll be keeping that. USB. There you go, James. Keep that. USB-C. They always come in handy. Um, we've got a dummy. There you go, James that'll be for you we've got some headphones but are they what? Running. right but they look damaged anyway so I wouldn't say they're really worth anything so I think this one oh absolute leather hmm I think I'll be keeping away from that right let's check under here anything under here oh another deodorant oh no that's the same one Right, guys, that's the end of the Peugeot 207. On to the next. I don't think we did too bad. I'd say we found 20 quid worth of stuff. There's definitely 20 pound worth of stuff. And a lot of that we will actually use. So yeah, there we go. That'll do. Right, so guys, we're back with the next Hidden Treasures. I've not got as many cars on this episode 
but I've still got something for you. So we've got a Volvo XC90. I'm not 100% what year it is, but I think it's around a 2006, 2007. Um, look, looks like it's been stood a while. It's got a lot of um, like green mold building up, but yeah. Should we mention that um, we're on a chest cam now? Yeah, we're also on the chest cam because we've got the, um, the head cam that is out picking up the 18 cars today, just showing a bit of that. So you're on the chest cam. It's quite comfy actually, and it'll do the job. Right, oh, I don't have gloves. I'll go and get some gloves. Right, so let's have a good route. We'll start with the back seats. I've only looked for the windows just to see if there was anything in it. So obviously, because some cars are just completely empty, so there's just no point. So, right, we've already found something. Can you see on there? We've got some odd bits of tools, screws. Got um, a nice hat, Tommy Hilfiger. Wow. Um, wow. Bloody hell. Jesus. Is that a segue? <laughs> We've got an old battered up segue. I'd say we'll have a go in the yard on that, but it's going to be quite dangerous. But we'll see if we, we'll actually check if that works, James, can't we? Wow, I bet, I bet that's worth some of that, isn't it? I like it. Really? No. Bloody hell. Right, let's have a good route. Right, oh. Right, so the centre console is completely loose. I'll put that locking wheel nut on the driver's seat for the dismantler. Oh, wow, 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 wow. So, 35p up so far, and a Segway. Right, let's have a look. No, that's just the trim. Some old pants. Um, oh, what am I doing? So, oh, a little small diagnosis thing. Maxi scan. Um, a glove box axle. They're a bit old school now, aren't they? This will definitely be an old person who's got this car, for sure. Bit of teacup. Some old CDs. There might be some for you. A B for the sunset, that'll do you, won't it? Yeah, I'm trying to see you play it. What's that one? Sasha and John weed. No. CDs are not worth a carrot nowadays. Unless it's obviously like a rare, some sort of rare edition, limited edition one maybe, I don't know. So, oh, we've got a charging port, that will come in handy. Put them CDs down there and I'll keep all the, the stuff on here. A bit of DI so, that'll come in handy. Oh, there you go, I can use them gloves on the next episode. Wow. A fused plug. They will cost money. Brand new in wrapper, keeping it. So let's have a look here, some playing cards. No. No. Oh James. But I miss loads there. Bye. Damn it. Slide off. I just feel it like it was. Be, I mean I've, we've got a two point of views. Yeah. Alright, that'll be better. Right. So CDs. More gloves. Not really worth a carrot. Right, let's look under these mats. No. Nothing there. No. Right. Back seat's done. Let's see if I can get these front. These seats forward. No. Oh, they see me over. Oh, look at that. Right, so. Oh. Na Nikon. Nikon. Oh, look at that. Gog, binoculars, work, I can use them. Put the camera lens through it. It won't work that, there's no way. This one, I'll tell you if it works. It won't. I can use them from when I'm in the office, I can look out the window and check everyone's working. Um, right, case. From the back. I don't think the boots will open to be honest. 
get them there. Right, money. That can go in my pocket. Um, right, let's get onto these back seats. I need to try and get an angle. Whoa, what's that? Oh, yeah. What is it? Eh? Oh, it's like um, is that it? what? It's like a lock for something, that isn't it? It's like a bite lock or something. Tell us in the comments what is it? It's like a key or something. Yeah. Anyway, oh, another Segway. I tell you what, there's some weight in them. Very heavy. So we've got two Segways. I'm guessing the faulty. Eh? Why they're still in the car? Um, we've got some dog dog treats there for you, James. <laughs> right, let's have a look. All right, let's get in here. Oof. Let's get them seats forward. Oh, get that one. Oh, that one there. Right, we've got a deck chair. I don't like having too many chairs about because people keep on sitting down and not working. Right, let's have a look under here. Oof. We've got a bum bag. No, nothing in there. No. I feel like I'm having to hold the camera so I can get a good angle. Oh, nothing in there. So, oh, a load of old tapes. Ah, oh. wig and pee or? Oh, yeah, it shows how old it was then. Yeah. So it's done it, right? I'm guessing that's another deck chair. It is actually probably worth keeping then. Um, another jerry can, they always want keeping, they always come in handy. Um, someone's keeping the bags for life. Tire pump, they always come in handy. Deck behind here. Oof. Some jump leads. For sure, always come in handy. Um, Oh, these ratchets, these ratchets, honestly, I always use them on pallets. Always. Um, right, that. No, I thought that was an impact socket, but it's not. Right, that is about it for the back of here. Yeah, right, let's get them. Oh, my camera's gone off. Lost the plot. Right. Let's get to the front. Get that door shut. Your jerry can. So we've got quite a good little hefty amount of stuff there. It all adds up. It all adds up. So this door. Damn it. Right, so let's get in this side. Oof. Right, let's watch that. It's a bit far forward. Nothing in the side pocket just a span up 13 mil unbelievable always coming handy you can't beat a 13 mil right so yeah let's put it on top of there yeah right let's have a look right so we've got the goggles we've got an old some sort of sprocket cog goggles why did i say goggles they are glasses right pen um all cds again you like the cds right under the it's a bit awkward in here nothing under the mats light up the box so owner's manual is it yeah owner's manual more cds cds but what? Where the hell? It's freaking two phones. Keys? They've left the keys and the phones. I can see why they've left the phones in there. They are a bit knackered. But I've actually found a phone damn near every time. I can't believe it. I never see these. I don't know why. I don't know who takes them, but I never see them. So that looks like an iPhone 12, 13. Done it? I bet that's worth 20, 30 quid even in that condition. It's got to be. And that's an older iPhone. That I don't even know what models are what. But that, 
is a good find. Very good find. We've got a few spare bulbs, another pen, keys. That looks like that's about it. Check under the sun visors. No. Nope. Right, that's it. Well, you don't check this mic yet. Oh, I can't get over there, can I? Right, move that glove box. Um, right, so I pocket here. We've got a window scraper. Oh, scraper again. No. Right, under the mat, driver's side. Usually you find a bit of change under here, but I'm not seeing out. Just a pen. And that is the end. So on to the next, if there is a next one. If there isn't a next one, this is the end. To all the haters, you don't need to watch it. You don't. This is for all the people who like it. But I mean, I enjoy looking through them because you actually do find some stuff. I mean, that's, that is all right. That's a good find. Nice one, thank you. So yeah, on to the next guys. Hope you're all managing. Hope you're all right. And have a good day. I know sometimes life can be tough. And you feel like you just had enough.